Dear FAA, we need to have a talk about drones and about remote ID. See, we fly freestyle racing drones that look similar to this. Some of them are actually even smaller than this. Um, they're over the 250 gram minimum limit that or max limit that you said don't need remote ID unless of course you're doing commercial work and then you still need to register and have remote ID. We need to have a talk about these things. Take a look at this. Where, where would I put a remote ID module on this? Um, there's really nowhere to put it. In addition to needing the remote ID module, you'll need a GPS. We're going to put a GPS add on this to make it even remotely reliable for getting a good signal. Um, there's really nowhere to do that. Um, and if we put one on there, it's not going to report accurately because it's going to be interfered with our transmitter, uh, our video transmitter, tons of noise from motors, and just like EMF noise from ESC and the flight controller and, and all of that stuff. There's going to be tons of noise. These are not designed to have a GPS on them to get a reliable signal. I mean, you can put one on there and you might get an okay signal, but probably not very reliable. It's gonna be very slow to get uh, satellite because it's, again, it's way too close to all the other electronics and antennas and stuff. There's nowhere to put that. And if we put it on here in a way to make it extend way out, away from it to get a good signal, then as soon as we crash, and we crash a lot, um, it'll be destroyed and then of course it won't work but like this it can crash over and over and over again because everything is nice neat compacted protected no problems crashes all the time still flying great so look at this footage here look at where we're flying I'm flying at a, a park here look what I'm doing I'm flying through um, gaps there in the, the little um, shelters through the gaps in the playground equipment. I'm flying low to the ground. I think at most maybe I'm like 20, 30 feet off the ground. Why? And I'm at most 300 feet away from myself in this particular case. Um, why would I need a remote ID? That makes absolutely zero sense. I mean, look at it. Explain to me, FAA, why should this need a remote ID? What benefit is there for a remote ID on this? I'm standing up under the shelter. I'm flying around myself. I'm not even probably 100 feet away from myself at any given point in time. Everybody knows who's flying the drone. It's not questionable. I'm not flying way far out over top of people. I'm not, you know, hovering around, spying on people. This stuff is absurd. You need to explain where the reason is for remote ID. Oh, I know what the reason is. You're getting some money from lobbyists. Yeah, the congressmen are getting money from lobbyists to go, oh, you need to go, you need to go put remote ID in so we can clear all of the airways and do our little drone deliveries and whatever God knows else that you decided is going to happen. It's not. It's not functional. It's not going to work. It's not even feasible. It's not from a price standpoint ever going to work for someone to do a delivery in a cost-effective manner. It's just not. The technology is not there. It, it's just not going to work. Um, and definitely not for any sort of distance whatsoever. You know, obviously you've never flown anything radio controlled whatsoever, or you would know these things. You would know that the signal just doesn't go that far unless you've got a good line of sight to the drone, which in cities and whatnot, you're not going to get that. You've got way too many power lines. There's way too much other stuff that's going to cause interference. It's just not going to work. Now, you could do autonomous with the GPS, but the GPS is going to get all kinds of interference. I mean, heck, sunspots can cause interference, and then you get absolutely terrible location. I mean, have you actually used a GPS in your car? How many times is it wrong? I mean, really, FAA, we, we need to have a serious discussion here. You need to to think. Use your noggin. You do have a noggin, right? You got you got some brains up here? You got some brain cells? Surely you can use this 
with a little bit of logic and reason to understand that putting a remote ID on this, flying in this manner, as you can see, is stupid. I mean, and that, that's being nice about it. That's just, it's absurd. Now, if someone is flying a GPS controlled drone and they're going miles and miles away, then sh and they're, you know, hundreds and hundreds of feet up in the air where they could possibly be in the flight path of some sort of manned aircraft or other unmanned aircraft, then sure, maybe remote ID might make sense. Not in the implementation that you're doing. In my mind, it would probably need to be more like ADS-B, which then now you've got to have a really big drone to have an ADS-B module on there to actually utilize. Otherwise, it's pointless. You know, Bluetooth's not gonna go far enough and it's not going to be reliable enough to give you a good signal. Just not. So have a conversation with me. I'd be more than happy to have a conversation with you. As it is, the way that you're doing this, what's going to happen is the vast majority of people who are flying drones like this are not going to comply. You're not going to know. And it's not going to result in anything other than making out a bunch of us to be outlaws that if some particular person decided they didn't like us for some reason, would report us, the police come, and now there's a big kerfuffle over this, over something stupid. So really, I think you really need to rethink this. You need to really carve out some sort of exception for drones in this particular manner. And a free is not it. It's just not gonna work. And definitely the way that you're doing it, you're, you know, canceling out possible free is because they're in residence areas. If I, the park that I fly in, that would be a perfect example to have a Priya. It's a nice little park. I fly there when there's nobody there. It's perfect. You know, schools that want to do STEM work, they can't get Priyas because of all these regulations that you put in place. They're going to be in residential areas and you're you're not going to approve it. And then you've got the environmental aspects of all this crap that you're all putting on. They've got to have environmental studies and everything else. For a drone that's flying a couple of minutes in the air has absolutely zero impact on anything in the environment. You all are nincompoops. Just that's plain nincompoops. The whole thing is absurd. So I'm going to leave and give you all thinking. Think, 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 think. Reply to me. Let me know. I'd be happy to have a conversation with you. This is absurd. You know it's absurd. You know. But as it is, the vast majority of us are not going to comply. We're just not. I mean, it, it's stupid. And you're not going to be the wiser, you know, unless somebody reports us, which is probably not going to happen either. You know, rare cases maybe, but most of the time it's not. So you're wasting time, resources, energy on something that is pointless. So think FAA, think. Have a good one, guys. Never stop flying.